you can add extensions um, and this is going to be more information that are attached to your ad. I would suggest at least adding in a site link extension and a uh, call out extension. Image extensions, we'll start from there. Uh, these are images that you want to include in the ad. This will show on mobile only right now, but could be a, a one way to stand out. Then you can also add a site link. Would suggest doing this. Site links are going to be underneath the description on the ad, clickable text. Maybe you want one to go to the learn more section of your website. Learn more about my business. And then the final URL goes to the out again. The about us section of the website. Maybe you want one to go to like uh, a specific product. Um, let's just say one of the services you offer is a uh, video consultation. You know, even better, free video consultation. That draws people's attention. Get a free video consultation for 30. Free. 30. So, and then that could go to a, a, maybe a sign up form, right? Just put it in that URL. So, those would be clickable text. It's going to take them, and it's a great way to have different sections of your website. You never know what might trigger someone to ultimately click and then move forward to be a customer of yours. Call outs, these are uh, unclickable text that add more information, tack on to the description. This would be more unique selling points, free shipping, 24-7 uh, support. Uh, handmade crafts, 50% um, off new customers. These are these are all just call outs that you can make that uh, are just they're they're not clickable, but they're 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 selling points for your business, for your service, for your product. And you could of course maybe it's a holiday related one, call uh, Labor Day special, and this one you only want to show during certain periods of time. You could do that here. Okay. Structured snippet. This is going to be, again, uh, like callouts, not clickable. But these would be to have uh, more so lists of various information that you offer. So you could choose maybe you're a travel website and you want to call out that you focus on uh, Germany and uh, Croatia, okay. but there's some different options here. Not required, but the more the merrier when it comes to information. And the more information, the more real estate that you take up on the screen, which is the most important piece. Call extension, if you wanna receive phone calls, if there's something that you care about, input the phone number there and uh, just make sure that you're able to receive phone calls from there and make sure that that's a conversion that you set up uh, in these actions here, okay? And they could click that link and call you direct. If you don't want phone calls and don't set that up. Uh, lead form extension. Um, so this is where you can, instead of, uh, if you have a lead form on your website, um, then maybe you don't need this. Um, but if you don't have one, this is a great way to collect leads in the ad itself. And, and even if you do have a lead form on your website, this could be a more streamlined way of getting information because it removes one layer of steps in terms of them having to go to your website it's in the ad. So you may consider having a lead form if you want to collect lead information. This could be good for you. Location extension, if you have a physical location, 
you know, you're going to have to have a uh, Google My Business account, I believe, for that. Um, so I won't go into it too much, but that's to show your physical location. So if you do have a physical location, you're going to want to do that. Um, or if you're if you have like various franchise locations, that would be the affiliate locations, okay? Um, or where where maybe you're you're selling your your products in a retail store. Price extension. Not everybody wants to use price extensions because they don't want to show the prices before they get there. But if you're comfortable with showing the prices, you think that's going to be a strong selling point, then add them. And they could click and go to specific products, one shirt, two shirt, three shirts. Uh, and you can have people navigate that way. If your product's more expensive, you probably don't want to do a price extension because it might scare people away. App extension, and uh, an extension to download your app. So if you have an app, make sure you add that. And promotion extension, uh, various holidays, uh, you know, let's say you're, you're doing a spring sale and um, you want to do a percent discount of 20% off and uh, it's for t-shirts and um, this is the website it goes to, promotion details. You can create a specific promo code for that very easy way to set up a cool promotion for your your business people love discounts draw attention to it go to a specific promotion page on your website you're not offering any discounts and you don't need that obviously so the main ones out of extensions that you're probably going to care about regardless of what type of business you're in site links going to various different pages on your website providing more information image extensions putting an image on mobile searches definitely useful call out extension non-clickable extra text uh, unique selling points free shipping things like that and uh that's that's the main ones i would say okay and these other uh parts and pieces of uh, the campaign within within a search campaign you can with landing pages again i, I don't spend too much time here but that's all your different landing pages but Let's go into keywords. So within keywords, uh, the, the within the keywords, there are going to be, you'll see your live keywords and um, make sure you can always filter by things going here and you'll see enable pause. Um, so you'll see what you're bidding on, what keywords that you are going after and paying money for in the keyword section. Uh, you could pause them, you can increase the bids, whatever it may be. Um, negative keywords, this is what you don't want to be showing for. I would recommend starting to create lists of negative keywords uh, once you get started. You, There's probably some that you know right off the bat. If you don't want people typing in anything that says cheap in it, maybe you just say, hey, I don't want, I want cheap. Anything that says cheap in it, that's a negative keyword. Okay. And uh, then there's the search terms report level. Search terms is really, really important. It's going to show not just the uh, keywords that you're bidding on, but actually what did people type in that ultimately triggered your ads, okay? So for this one, right, in this campaign that we created, change it to all but pause. So we could at least see some in here. These, this is what people actually typed in that resulted in my ad showing and your ad showing that then maybe got some clicks, maybe got some, some conversions, uh, the actions that you care about. So this is one of the most important tabs because this is what actually people search for. And therefore, if there are things that you you're seeing you're popping up or that you don't want to, then you're going to want to add those as negative keywords. If there are things that you're not currently going after specifically as keywords, but they're triggering because they're close to it and it's really standing out, you probably want to add that as a specific keyword that you're paying money for. Even though you may be picking it up, you know, by adding it as a keyword, you are saying to the system, I want to, I want you to focus on this. And if it's doing well, then you should. So search terms, what people are actually typing in, the queries, the full queries, 
uh, keywords, what did you, what are you bidding towards? What are the queries that you are saying, I want to show up my ads for that? What actually showed search terms? Auction insights, again, we walk through that, see where you stand in comparison to others in the same industry or comparable to you. And we talked a little bit about audiences and how you could target or just observe them. So you'll see that within this search campaign, right? Uh, when we look at the type, it will say, okay, this is a website visitors. This is data that I provided. Uh, and they went to this specific page. So I want to retarget them. And then you'll see some of those other ones, the in-market audiences. These are potentially new customers go after, people that are in market for travel, for uh, trips to the U.S., and financial services, whatever it may be. So you could see the difference between the type of audience and uh, all these. You could see, I don't have this column right now, and just know that you can click on, let me show you again, columns. And you could go to uh, attributes. And if I just want to see which ones are showing, make sure it's uh, in observation, right? So this one specifically in a campaign is targeting, which means it's going after that group of people specifically. People within that uh, audience that I created. These other ones that are in observation, it's saying, hey, these are all the people that did show up are in market for travel how do they perform if the data really stands out then maybe you want to go ahead and target this in a specific campaign later on rather than just observing so you can see how all your various audiences are performing in the audience section and you don't have to worry too much about this in the uh, content section um, except if you're running video ads, but we won't go into that. And again, in terms of settings that you can change on the campaign level, you could change, you could set the budget, uh, you could set location targeting. So if you want to go in the US and Australia, you could either do US and Australia in the same campaign, or if you want them separate, you would need to do US campaign, Australia campaign. And that way you could also set maybe $100 for the US campaign, maybe Australia, you're willing to spend more, so $200. You can only set the budget on the campaign level. Bid strategy type can only be selected on the campaign level. So if you wanted to try maximize conversions, getting the most actions within your budget versus target CPA at a certain goal, then you would need to put those in different campaigns. Okay.